This is a longleaf pine. It was once part of over a million acres of forest in southeast Virginia. Now in Virginia, there are fewer than a few hundred. We can actually count the individual trees that are left. But this is a tree that we've lost so much of because of overexploitation, habitat alteration, uh, invasive species. It's so fire adapted now that it actually requires fire in order to successfully reproduce. This time of year, the seeds fall out of the cones and hit the ground. And if the root does not find bare soil, it will die. So the seedling needs bare soil in order to essentially germinate. This is a grass stage seedling. It has its terminal bud, if you look, tucked way down in here. And that terminal bud is surrounded by all these nice green needles. So when a fire comes along, these water-filled green needles help protect that terminal bud. All these needles can be totally burned off, but the fire have gone by that time and it'll have been just enough to protect the top of that tree there. The tree will stay like that for a few years while it builds up enough energy in its roots to bolting. The intent of it coming out of the grass stage and bolting is to get the terminal bud above the tops of the fire, which tend to be some of the hotter parts of the fire. The Department of Conservation and Recreation and the Department of Forestry are working together on a restoration project to bring this tree back to Virginia back to the lands it once occurred in and to do that we come out to the last places where the trees exist go up to the tops and pick pine cones from them we take those pine cones extract the seeds grow the seedlings out and then distribute the seedlings out into various state properties or land conservation groups who are, are trying to restore longleaf and to private landowners who uh, want longleaf for their properties and this is a project we've been working on for about eight years now it's still a learning process, but we're getting better every year. We've planted what's essentially our seed orchard for the future, and we expect that in about 20 to 30 years, we won't have to be coming out to these last individual longleaf anymore. We'll have our own seed production area where we can produce hundreds of thousands of seedlings to work toward our effort of, of longleaf restoration in Virginia.